Let's tell us your name. That's, that's too many E's. Great. Well then, Green, I suppose it's time to begin. How did this happen again? It all started with that letter. The one from her. The holidays are coming up, and the mod Kameda said you're invited to join us for the special day. We're going to have a blast for Valentine's Day, so I hope you'll consider joining us this year. Love, Mod Ibuki. On second thought, maybe I should have said no. No, she's my friend. I have to support her, even if this is what she's doing with her life now. I haven't heard from her since that cold January morning. January the 9th. 2017. I think it was 10.33 a.m. Right, I can't just stand out here forever. I don't like ringing doorbells unless I have to, so unlock on the door. Oh, a visitor! You must be Ibuki's friend, right? Green, hmm? What a lovely name. My name is Mod13, but you can call me Kameda. They're staying here for the holidays, so why don't you show them around, Kameda? Of course, right this way. You follow Mod 13 inside. There's a gathering of Mod Kameidas in the kitchen. They seem to be preparing for the holidays. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I want to keep that serious for <laughs> I couldn't hold that. <laughs> I couldn't hold. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh. Oh. What's that? Th whoop. I don't know what you just said, but please don't be rude to Madi Buki's guest. Dearest Madibuki, what is that creature you've brought with you? Mod Kameda 43, this is my friend, Green. They're spending Valentine's Day with us this year. I thought it would be nice for y'all to spend some time with Kameda, darlings, instead of only talking to other mods and working all the time. Hey, dumbass. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have no idea how difficult this is for me. Oh. Hey, dumbass, you know you're not supposed to microwave aluminum foil, right? Is he talking to me? Huh? Is that a joke? Why are you microwaving that in the first place? That goes in the oven. Well, I need to heat it up somehow. That's what the oven is for. The microwave is actually for freezing things. Uh, here, let me help you out with that, 16. Oh, Green, you're the Kamei Ling that Madibuki brought, aren't you? Kind of thought you'd be more, well... Wow, Kameda Ling. I never thought Gormeda would let one in the house. I'm so excited. I promise I'll behave myself while I'm here. I promise. <sighs> A Kamei, darling, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, if you need anything, Hall 19 is here for you. <laughs> he smirks obstinately and pushes his glass up with his index finger and middle finger. It's rather unnatural. I might not have met a Kamei Dowling in person before, but I know all sorts of things about your Kamei Dowling ways. 
I wish the punishment kennel was something. <laughs> For once, I agree with you. Yeah, me, yeah, me too, Mod12. I love that guy. Uh, of course you would. You'd be the first one inside. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Mod33, I'm glad you made it. This is my command link friend, Green. Uh, Green, uh, nice to meet you. I'll leave the room so you don't have to look at me anymore. <laughs> yes! There it is! <laughs> Fucking stroke. Uh, 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 Christ. Uh. Green? Is that your name? So it really is you. It's been a while, hasn't it? I haven't heard from you on my clown phone recently. But it's good to see you're doing well. We can catch up later. I found one. Mod 1 joins gathering the kitchen, dragging another mod in by their jacket hood. I, um, you're Kamehameling, right? You got him right, I am. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You guess? Mod 200 is shifting around uncomfortably. The proper term is a uh, human, but I guess uh, Mod Kamehameling call us Kamehameling, right? Oh, right, right. Well then, you're fine. You're fine. As opposed to, uh, pretend this is brought up. <laughs> I'm Mod 1. Nice to meet you, Mod 1. You too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't realize you had a kissed over. Ooh, I'm not late, am I? Of course not, Mod 18. Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> is that Kamehameling friend of yours, right? I think I'll have plenty of time to get acquainted with them. No need for an introduction. Uh, that's either really bold or really freakish of this mod to say. That's everyone, isn't it? Okay. Oh, so it'll be wonderful to united again, just like the good old days. We should have killed you instead of 24. <laughs> I agree! Fuck him! Fuck 24! He sucks! Hey guys! I know I mentioned it before, but Green will be spending the whole Valentine's Day with us, so please be nice to them, okay? Oh, Christ. Getting along with Kameda Ellings is part of your job, too, you know. Kind of. Even though this is a vacation. Oh my gosh, Green, this is gonna be so fun! We get to bunk together too! I call the bottom bunk. Yeah, I'm a bottom bitch, you're right. That's all yours. We should start unpacking and. Bookie's phone rings. It's Ibuki. Hello? Wait, this week? For reals? What? I thought it was due next week. Oh gosh, oh you're right, yeah, I really need a good grade. Well, see you soon I guess. Uh, colon, parenthesis. How'd you do that out loud? Green, I have bad news. Um, you know the huge history project I do next week? Well, uh, next week is this week, not next week. Not even the week afterwards, not even last week. Uh, so I have to go work on the group members as soon as I can. Oh, that, that's okay. No worries, Buki. You should get working on it as soon as you can. Sucks, but I totally need to do good on this. It's twenty percent of my grade, including finals. Yeah. It's not fun without me, though. The mobs can be really cool to hang out with. <laughs> I'm sure they can. Ugh. 
Of course, I'll make sure Green has a splendid time in your stead, Ibuki. Thanks, Kameda. Oh, but Green, you should probably figure out who you're rooming with tonight since I'll be gone. I gotta head out now. Have fun, everyone. Ibuki ran off in a hurry. And now it's just me and the mods. Uh, I feel a bit like an outsider, but maybe like used to it. I guess just to go decide with who will share a room for the night. Oh yeah, that's right. This, so this is uh, a work in progress demo, and there's only uh, there's only two available right now. But if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that uh, mod 428 will indeed be an option at some point. Uh, which, if you don't know, is uh, a clown made a. I'm sorry, a clown made a. See, so, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that one. Uh, I think I think sixteen was the furry, right? <laughs> ah, whatever. Old sixteen. Mod sixteen's room has a stale, musty, smoky smell. Not an offensive odor, but isn't very welcoming. It's really stuffy too. Like desperately needs to be aired out with an open window. He has some interesting posters along the wall. I'm inclined to believe that this one was the furry. <laughs> well, with, what with the <laughs> sweet bro and hella Jeff, I think, uh, Zootopia, and uh, the My Little Pony movie. <laughs> it appears to be Incense, uh, Digimon. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see my mouse cursor. Uh... <laughs> What's with that pile of pillows in the corner? There's not even a bed in sight. Wait, the white shag pillow, is that trembling? Hello. Hi. Sorry, I was just taking a nap. Oh, you're the Komei darling guests? Oh, I... Hello. Stares at you with a glassy-eyed, vacant expression. You're... You're going to room with me. Sorry, I was taking a nap in my nest. Er, bed. Stupid, stupid, I shouldn't call my nest in front of people. No one likes to act like a stupid bastard rat idiot. Uh, you aren't sure if he knows he's speaking out loud. He's muttering, but uh, seemingly doesn't understand how to control his own volume. Uh. Uh, hello? <laughs> Am I back? Uh. Okay, looks like I'm back. Uh, my entire computer froze. Like, literally everything. Uh, I could not control alt delete to pull up anything. I couldn't Windows key. I couldn't escape. I couldn't even, like, hit any of the volume buttons on my keyboard to change anything. So... Um, that was interesting. I don't, uh, I don't know what happened there. Um, I'm semi-concerned about what happened there. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean... I'm running through the, uh, running through the shit here, and there doesn't appear to be anything malicious, but, uh, what's interesting is this all, this is all rendered in browser for some reason. Like, literally, if I inspect the page, I can pull up all the assets, which is kind of funny. Oh shit, that means I can get high quality clown made out of this. Interesting, I'll have to do that. But I mean, of course we're not done. What, what did, what did you think I was done? What do you think, I'm some kind of goddamn tool? Fuck you. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, I'll start with that letter. Yep, we gotta just, we just gotta get back to where we were. Yep. I mean, you know. Yeah. Never brought up. Uh, 
Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Mod 16. SM okay, yeah. So we did this. He doesn't seem dangerous or anything, but he reeks of insecure desperation. Even if he does sleep in a nest like a rodent, it wouldn't be so bad to give him a chance. So, um, just so you know, if it's okay if you change your mind about roomy with me, I have a tendency to act like a stupid fat gay dumbass with no friends. Ah! <laughs> Jesus! I wouldn't want your stay here to be a pain. You seem like a fine command on me. I think you're fine so far. Um, I... He roughly cuts off the small talk and just stares at you. Or maybe it passes you. His eyes is glassy and unblinking. <clears throat> oh, Christ. Hey, um, do you like art? I mean, like, cartoon drawings. You nod. Yeah. And green, have you? <laughs> now these are the big boy decisions in video games. You know, you got that like uh fucking pussy bullshit like Mass Effect Three. You know, oh make a big decision about the universe. Who fucking cares? Uh, but have I heard about furries? Oh, uh, you bet your ass I have, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know I just met you, but I really feel like I can open up to you. Yeah? <laughs> you sure about that, buddy? Uh, just as a forewarning, uh, if this does, uh, get, uh, I'm gonna have to end the stream and delete the VOD. But I'll be sure to do something with it. If you're alright with it, I'd like you to <laughs> see my first one up. I don't think I wanna- I'm not sure about that, uh, mod 16 buddy. Uh, I mean, maybe. Nah, you're right, I'm gonna. <clears throat> no, that's fine, Vlad, I got it. I can- I can handle it. I pulls it a piece of notebook paper. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Rat Mino is the perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Thank God. <coughs> I'm dying. Oh, uh, uh, I deserve this. Oh, shut up, Discord. Go away. Uh, oh, Christ. Discord, be quiet. <clears throat> so, um, what do you think? This is beautiful. This is a very cute 16. I'm so glad you showed me your persona, and I'm glad you opened up to me. That makes me feel so happy. Before now, Mod 19 was the only one I could talk to you about this. Mod 12 tolerated it, <laughs> but never let me speak of it. Knowing you really understand me and don't call me a freak or a dirty rat or a stupid gay bitch, I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, would you maybe come to a f <laughs> what? Yes, I will absolutely do that. I've never wanted. So you know how, like in in life, you know, you, there's a there's a few important questions. Uh, you know. Like, uh, you know, uh, will you marry me? Uh, do you take them to be your lawfully wedded, uh, husband slash wife? And, uh, do you want to come to a furry rave with me? Which I, of course, obviously do. I'm obviously going to do that. Let me, uh, get a sip here. <clears throat> this is a big-ass fucking jump. Nah, this seems about right. Hell yes, my dude. Green, you may be the happiest little rat in the world. <laughs> I'll go get dressed. Please, please tell me he's gonna be in a rat fursuit. 
he he's grabbing fleshy a flashy apparently rave appropriate clothing accessories from the smaller nearby dresser near his pillow nest and heads to another room to get changed. He's moving in a strange jittery way with a jerking gait and twitching limbs. Yeah, like a, like a rat. <laughs> you have to admit to yourself, honestly, you're feeling pretty nervous about agreeing to this. You've never done this kind of thing before, and you said yes without even thinking. Uh, but 16 looks so happy. Yeah. You look over the dresser he's running through. The scented candles and incense resting in top catch your eye. Well, it doesn't smell terrible in here. It's very stale and stuffy. On the opposite wall, there's a window. Uh, it might be nice to open the window and let the light and incense the candle. Yeah, that does sound good. You walk over to the window, intending to open its crack, but no matter how you hard you pull on it, it won't open. He's set up for leaving the door ajar. <laughs> Doesn't bring in as much fresh air as an open window would, but oh well. Conveniently enough, a lighter is sitting in the window ledge and you walk over to the dressing room with it in hand. The incense and candle are both rose scented. When you light them both, you immediately form more at ease. I actually appreciate the atmosphere and the decoration of Mod 16's room. With the corner of your eye, you see the notebook slightly open, and inside, an extra some solidly folded clothing is a dusty notebook. He had seen a different notebook on the floor, which you assumed 16 uses more. This one could have old drawings of his, or it could even be a diary. Will you read it? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I, I want to read it, but I feel like if I do read it, you might uninvite me to this furry rave, and I, I don't think I'm alright with that. I think I really want to go to this furry rave with Rat Made Off. So, I, no, it's not my business. Are you going, I'm sorry, it took so long. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an outfit. <laughs> Something seems different. <clears throat> oh, you lit the candle my palm gave me. That's so nice of you. Are you ready to go? It's, it's, this outfit's adorable. You look great. This compliment made Monsequin smile widen, and he leads you out the door to leave. <laughs> Oh, man. Here we are at the Furry Rave Club, Green. He said it thoughtfully, so empathetically. You have no clue how you got here, how much time has passed, or what city this is. Maybe you took a cab, fell asleep in the car ride, and woke up here very abruptly. You just don't have to bother even asking when grab Mod 16 grabs you and pulls you along to the entrance. He pays the tickets up front, inside up front. It's $69 a piece. What really puts us together is the dollar sign uh, after the 69 uh, really, <laughs> but it really sets the mood. <sighs> when you get a look at, when you take a good look around, squinting against painfully bright flashing lights, you see that the club must be pretty popular. You can't tell exactly how big the room is to receive strangely dressed people jumping around and waving glow sticks in the air. The music playing is a powerful bass that overpowers the song. You can feel the deep rumbling bass rattle your chest. It's making you feel slightly nauseous. You notice that something on the other side of the room caught Mod 16's attention. He tilts his head, and his hair tendrils sway unsettlingly with his jerky movements. Uh, hey, Green, I'll be right back. You'll be okay without me for a second, right? Uh, I mean, I really want to go with to see what this is about. So, uh, also, you're gonna leave me alone in a rave? No thanks. I'd like to see if I can come along. Oh, uh, he's already gone. Fuck you, bastard. When you look to see where he's gone, you see he's headed towards what looks like a group of 20-something smoking cigarettes. At first you think, that's weird, I can't think of any place that's still allowed indoor smoking, but you guess this place just has lack of security. That thought has you more than a bit nervous. You take this opportunity to get a better look at the crowd, and you can see a sizable portion of the attendees are in animal costumes of all kinds. Dogs, horses, dragons, and a shark, dog, a velociraptor thing, you think? You assume it's some kind of hybrid creature. <sighs> yeah, I think I could use that sigh just for a second. Just 
It's been, what, 15 minutes now that you've been waiting for Mod 16? Maybe more? You bought an overpriced soda from a vending machine near the entrance and been sipping at it anxiously. I'm sorry, let me get a sip as well here. Delicious. <clears throat> in an attempt to pass the time and relax, you try to get into the music, and it almost worked at first, but you're seriously thinking you should go find him. At this point, you're bored, freaked out, and don't even really know if he can defend himself. Oh, well, you suddenly see Mod 16 stumbling past other cudgoers to get out of the crowd. He barrels toward you with a wobbling gait. He's swaying weirdly like he's trying to find his balance, and you grab his shoulder to hold him steady. He looks pretty exhausted. Let's, let's get you out of here, buddy. You wrap your arm along his back, keep steady, and lead him out. You guess that he overexerted himself with all the intense lights and sound of the club, along with running around and getting lost. You don't imagine he gets out much. Come on, 16, let's get you some fresh air. He doesn't protest, just smells weak and lets you guide him. I'm so sorry, I... Seems you need a minute to collect his thoughts. You might be struggling to speak clearly. He's high as fuck. <laughs> Why is this? That's so stupid. I meant to get right back. But I went and fell down in the K-hole. It was so dark and crowded I lost you. Is that Komeda hole? Can you ever forgive me for leaving you all alone and getting lost or dragging you here in the first place? Such a stupid fat gay bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna get a fucking call out post for playing this game. Uh, I wanted to spend more time with you. Oh, oh, really? You, um, care about me? Yeah, dude. Of course, 16. You smell warmly at him. Let's go back to the bed, the two bed to bath. Uh, when we get back, you can maybe help me design a persona. Oh man, y y <laughs> you know there's nothing I'd love more. Oh uh, God, what am I doing? Uh. Oh. When the two you get back to the two beds of bath, you sit down together against the huge mass of pillows. It's surprisingly comfortable, and you easily settle in and lean against Mod 16's shoulders. Various theory-themed internet videos, from fursuit dancing to fursuit vines to emo cat animations, all play while Mod 16 sketches various pictures of a furry version of you. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> in many of them, you're holding hands with a weird little rat. Oh, hell yeah, my dude, this is what it's really all about. <laughs> a K-hole is when you take horse tranquilizer, but like a lot of it, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> the sight and sound of first dancing competition clips turn out to be incredibly calming. You drift off into sleep at the sound of a quadruple unicorn fursuit running and dancing to the beat of Gangnam style. Yeah. Good end, uh, 2015 dance competition. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I feel, I feel like that's, that's how it ends. <sighs> well, we made it to the furry rave. Uh, I think we got a fursuit design. Uh, I'm pretty sure we, uh, sucked off Komeda Mod 16. Uh, under his pile of pillows and other various things, so that was cool. Big fan of that. Sorry, I'm just, just you know. Yeah. Well, on to mod thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. This is Mod 13's room, and it looks a lot different than you'd expect, even if this is a Komeda love mail mod. <laughs> well, questioning all the meat that seems to be everywhere uh, with that weird poster, but eh.
This is a half-finished wireframe sculpture being built with what you can only hope is a very convincing substitute for raw meat. And a magazine collage of a human face in a bulletin board. At the very least, it smells pleasant, like honey and lavender. So, you guess that means the meat isn't real. Hopefully. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I gotta... I got, I got, uh, there's something on my glasses, and it's really fucking pissing me off. Oh, there we go, that's much better. Oh, Greens, you want to share it with me? I'm honored. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Even though you're the last human being in this building... <laughs> Aren't you human, too? No, I'm not a human. I'm Mod Kameda 13. Oh. Thanks. I think you can just call me Kameda. Right. Hey, do you want to know a secret? Yeah. <laughs> I think the human body is pretty neat. You think so too, don't you, Green? I'm making a sculpture of it right now, actually. Oh, so that's what it is. How reassuring. But the secret is... Oh, well, I have two secrets, if that's okay. That's fine. Ah, I'm grateful. The first secret is, Madibuki is a human. The second secret is that I don't know if she's a moderator or not. She's a moderator. Yeah. I, see, I guess that explains it then. Is he trying to hint at something? It's kind of weirding me out. If it's alright with you, Green, could you, um... Yes, Mod13? It's Kameda. You can call me Kameda. Let's try that again. Really? Why is he pushing me to call that so hard? Oh, whatever you guess. Okay, Kameda, what do you want? Oh, well, I was wondering if you could share a secret with me as well, Green. Um, exactly what kind of secret? D do you think... Do you think that I could become... You Oh, you really thought I was serious. <laughs> this guy's definitely on another level. Maybe we should get to bed. It's been a long day for you, hasn't it? Yeah. You can have whichever bed you'd like. I'll turn off all the lights so we can get some sleep. Mod 13, or you guess, Komeda, reaches over to the lamp and turns out the light. Pick the bed nearest the door and get ready to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Wise decision. <laughs> it's definitely been a tiring day. After settling into bed, you realize how great for you are that these mattresses are so comfy. You get sleep like a baby. As long as the lights are out, you can't see whatever monstrosity Mod 13 has gotten here. Suddenly, the lights flicker back on, as if to take that single joy from you. Sorry, it's just... To be quite honest, Green, I had an actual request I wanted to ask of you. I was just, um... I was wondering if... His cheeks glow red for the first time tonight. He's actually making an expression that isn't ambiguous or terrifying. <laughs> Would it be alright if we shared a bed? I was just wondering how warm human flesh could be. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That would make me happy, Mod 13. That's, sorry, that's Komeda. Fucking idiot. The words came out of your mouth faster than you could process it. He may be a bit eccentric, but he's been so kind to you. Maybe he's growing on you. Like, in a romantic way, not in a mold or a parasitic kind of way. Although, you'd bet he'd think the latter options were great. Oh, really? Oh, Green, that makes me happy too. And then, would you stay where you are in bed for a moment? Could it really be? Your heart is a flutter in your chest. Perfect. Just stay there a while longer. You wait for it seems like forever. You wish you'd at least drop the lights in the meantime. You feel like that collage face has been staring at you. Um, could you get up now, Green? Huh? What do you mean? You sit upright. Mod 13 gestures for you to move away from where you were. He seems so... Disappointed, so are you, to be honest. 
Aren't there supposed to be decomposition stains? What? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, never mind. You can sleep in your own bed green. Good night. <laughs> Go to Andy Buki's blind date. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. I think he, I think he tried to kill me or something. Yeah. That's a pretty good. Yeah. That, that seems about right. Yeah, I think I liked Mod 16's better. I think I enjoyed the Fury Raid quite a bit. Uh, anyways, uh, never again. Goodbye.